There is definitely no shortage of items you can acquire in No Man's Sky. In fact, there's a pretty astounding amount of items in the game. Now some of these items you can acquire have functional uses, and then some of them don't really have any use other than selling them. Welcome back everybody, Zoo here from Zoo Games, and today we're going to be taking a look at the top five most valuable items you can get in No Man's Sky to sell for a lot of units. And I'm going to also tell you how you go about getting them. Okay, so let's just get right into this. Starting with the first one. Now stick around to the end, guys, because we're going to go in order from uh, least valuable to most valuable. So the first thing we're going to talk about is compressed indium scraps. Now these sell for three million units a piece so how do you get those you get them from scrapping ships um and generally it needs to be a pretty good ship too like an s class like a full s class ship or uh exotic ship something like that when you scrap it you'll sometimes get these compressed indium scraps in your inventory that you can then sell for three million units a pop so pretty good way to make some make some good money now like i said the compressed indium scraps are something you get when you scrap ships and usually the better the ship uh the more likely you are to get them but there's no guarantee that you're going to get them every single time so you know it's just one of those things if you scrap ships often you're probably going to get some and yeah then you can sell them next up we have the quantum processor. Now the quantum processor is one of the things you need to craft in order to make the stasis device, which we'll talk about in a second. But the quantum processors on their own sell for 4.4 million units a piece. And um, the quantum processor, unlike the, the compressed indium scraps, actually has use aside from selling it it is used to craft stasis devices so depending on what you're doing uh you can you can sell them or you can keep them to make stasis devices which sell for more which we're going to talk about in a second but sometimes you can also get these from missions or uh M missions frigate missions uh space anomaly missions missions in the pirate systems all right, missions in the Nexus, and you can find these. Uh, so if you just get like one or two of them, I say just sell them straight away, um, because if you're gonna, if you plan on crafting them um, for stasis devices, that's a whole that's a whole nother story, and you're gonna need a lot of them. But if you just come across them, like from a mission, sell them. Four point four million units a piece. Okay, and. Going off of the quantum processors, we have the stasis device. Now, as you can see, there are many, many steps to creating the stasis devices. Uh, it's one of the hardest things in the game to craft. If you do want to get into crafting them, you're going to have to spend a lot of time on base setup because you're going to need multiple bases. You require a lot of resources for these things. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of work. Um, you know, I've done it myself and I used to make them all the time. And it is definitely a bit of work to get a stasis device farm going. But if you can do that, they are worth 15.6 million a piece. So 15 million 600,000 a piece. That's really quite good if you can craft these. Now, I've never seen them anywhere else other than crafted. So I don't know if they can come in as like frigate rewards or things like that. Um, as far as I know, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen them anywhere except when I've crafted them. I think crafting is the only way to get them. So there is a chart and I will link it below too if you want to take a try at uh, crafting these things. Next up, we got the Fusion Igniter. Now the Fusion Igniter is very similar to the Stasis device. It's really hard to craft. It requires a lot of materials. Uh, I will link them below, but you can see on the screen. 
requires a lot of materials, but it sells for the same price as the Stasis device at uh, 15.6 million a piece. So if you want to get into crafting these, you can really make a lot. Um, and as far as use, again, similar to the Stasis device, they have no use in the game other than selling them to uh, trade terminals. So the Fusion Igniter is like an alternate to stasis device like if you if you want to build fusion igniters or stasis devices you're gonna need to put in a lot of time for both of those to get both of those setups going for the fusion igniters or stasis devices they require different materials uh but they both sell for the same so up to you on which one you want to do i personally did a stasis device farm um and uh that's that's worked out rather well because once you get your freighter upgraded a bit and you start being more successful with your frigate missions, very often the frigate missions will bring back things you need to craft stasis devices and also fusion igniters. But it seems to me like more often I, I get stuff uh, that I can use for stasis devices from those missions. So. That's a way you can get the stuff to craft them. But as you can see, you know, there's a lot of crafting that goes into these. So not the easiest thing. And as far as I know, I, I don't know if you can just get the fusion igniters from missions or anything. I'm pretty sure like the stasis device, you can't. You can get parts of it that you need to build it. But the actual fusion igniter or stasis device, I don't think I've ever seen those as rewards for a mission. So I think if you want those, you gotta craft them or be gifted from another player. Okay, and I saved the most valuable one for last, which is the Starship AI valves. Now these things sell for 50 million units a piece, 50 million. It's crazy. But again, like with the stasis device and fusion igniters, they don't have any use in the game whatsoever other than to sell them. So uh, just kind of a neat little thing, Starship AI valves. So where do you get those? Now these uh, you again get from scrapping ships, but the ship you scrap needs to be worth like I believe over 50 million units for you to potentially get starship ai valves you're not going to get them every time you scrap a ship but if you scrap like an exotic ship or you know a nice s class that's been upgraded that's worth like 50 million you can get these starship ai valves and then you could sell them for 50 million so there's no way to craft them um the only yeah the only way you can get those as far as I know, is is from either a player gives them to you or or um, scrapping valuable ships that are worth over 50 million units. Well, there you have it, guys. There's the five most valuable items in the game. If I missed anything or you know of some other ones, please leave it in the comments below. I am not perfect. I do make mistakes sometimes and miss and miss some things. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It would really help me out. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.